Okay, I got 69 on the cord bars. Here we go. Did you go for two years? Um, not really. We just kind of, you need to be able to identify every bird, age and sex at gym, and, and work under at least two different banders who will vouch for you. And then you can get your sub-permit under an experienced bander. To have your mm -hmm. your master's permit, um, you need a lot more yeah. than that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, Warner is responsible for our accreditation station <laughs> permit that we banned out here. Yeah. We saw. Okay, Barb, I've got mixed gray and black, so we're going to look up what we've got to do in the stairs. Okay, upper parts, bluish gray, brownish. Uh, they're all brownish. I've got, um, my tail is that first one. i got an A tail. we got to get the yeah. basic plumage, though. Oh, These okay. birds have two totally different plumages between yeah. spring and fall, so we're mm. in fall now, and we're looking at these, what's called the upper tail coverts, for one indication, and what we've got is, it's between an A and a B tail, we call mm. it. Hmm. So we're between A and B there, and that's telling us upper tail coverts. Okay. That doesn't have the numbers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. upper t right here, Barb. Upper it's oh. an A, oh, yeah. A okay. to B, B. So it's a hatching year bird, right? Because that should be, be. Oh, A to B. Okay, so yeah. that doesn't, that's not uh, or definitive. Or an after hatching year female. Yeah. And that's very common. It it becomes very difficult to um, sometimes separate the hatching year males from the older females hmm. in fall. And th there's an old saying. It's called confusing fall warblers, and they don't. They it's don't. It's for real. <laughs> <laughs> is all I can tell you. How so we're also going to take a look at the back. The auricular is brown. It's we're also oh going to take yeah, a look at the brown. back here and the back feathers. Hmm. Out. So I'm like here, I'm a B to C in my back. That's gonna put me in my tail I have two spots and it's very narrow. So I'm here. B B tail. Tail. Oh, B to C. Hmm. B to C. I've got a hatching year bird and this time of year we can say that it's an unknown sex. Hmm. It's got a lot of gray. So we're going to say it's a hatching year unknown, and we're going to put probable male. Hmm. And then should we be lucky enough to catch it in spring, or somebody else would catch it, um, we would learn more. Now where will that one be? The myrtles just go to the southern United States. Yeah. How old will they get to be? Um, all the songbirds, their average lifespan is three to five years. Um, Seventy-five to eighty percent of the birds born this year will not survive the first winter, and those that do then will make it. You know, we, we, when this bird in spring um, has yellow on the crown of its head, it always has yellow on its rump, and it will also have yellow um, under its shoulders. And in fall, they're much duller, but it always still has the yellow rump, and that's its other name, is yellow rumped warbler. There are two species. We have the myrtle, and if you go west, it's called the Audubon warbler. And they're both yellow rumped warblers. In fact, I can show you what this bird looks like in the spring. You know, they now catch that in nature somewhere in the spring, mm -hmm. and it's down there. Then you're it will go yeah, it's so here's what this bird looks like in spring. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, is that the male or the That's female? That's the male. male. Okay. And the female is, here's your yeah, spring female. Brown. She's still okay. darker. But here's here's your fall male. So uh, it's very oh, difficult to tell. But we don't have much yellow at all here. Uh -huh. So we probably, we've got a hatching your bird. We know that from its tail spots and stuff. Okay. So we're down in here in the first fall. But okay. quite the difference. And then, like I said, there's two yellow rumps. The okay. west of here is called the Audubon warbler, and that has um, a yellow chin and yeah. a more solid yeah. black. Yeah. And in the, there is an area of the country, you know, kind of just um, what was called Colorado and areas like mm -hmm. that, where they these two species both exist, and they will interbreed. 
Mm. And sometimes then you end up with one that you just go. I don't know which one I've got. <laughs> in which case, it's the yellow rumped warbler instead of what we have is the myrtle. And we always like to um, tell kids and stuff that th we, this one has a nickname. It's called the butter butt. <laughs> <laughs> You, you haven't let one go, right? Well, let the the butterbutt go. <laughs>